watched the halftime show, you knew, you know, you know that it was very bad. And there's a lot I want to talk about. Starting with Adam Levine and ending with Adam Levine because he's the main issue about the whole thing. I think he might have died. And I think they replaced him for the Super Bowl. I think he died maybe like yesterday or something. And I think they really wanted the Super Bowl to still go on. Like they need Adam Levine. Maroon 5 is nothing without him. So I think they reanimated his corpse. And I think he performed at the Super Bowl. It's just a working theory I have. Like we can run with it. We can discuss. But it's just like facts don't lie. I think he might have died. He looked dead. He looked dead. He felt dead. It's interesting to see which artists decided to perform this year because the NFL is not fucking hip right now. It's not popping. Not cool to be in with the NFL. So it's very interesting. And I think it makes sort of Adam Levine's panicked, help me, escape, I need an escape expression. I think that makes a lot more sense if we put it in that context that he is a puppet. And like that makes sense given the trajectory of his band Maroon 5. Maroon 5 started out with some bangers. Makes me wonder. Um, what's that one? Wake Up Call? Uh, she Will Be Loved. There's some bangers out there for sure. But something happened. I want to say like after moves like Jagger, something happened. They sold their soul. Adam Levine joined The Voice and lost something. Something, something important to him is gone. And now he has like a fucking Kmart line. Now he has a really shameful Super Bowl performance under his belt that the whole world watched. We all watched him fail and that must feel pretty bad. I'm sorry for him. Another thing I wonder is why all of his like ad libs at the end of like certain words or high notes, he'll do a little shrieky thing and it sounds really bad. It sounds like he's getting need in the testicles. It sounds like a yapping dog, kind of. It's really, really high pitched. It's very like disconcerting, and I don't know who told him it sounded like Prince. I don't know who told him it sounded like Michael Jackson. It doesn't. It didn't. Bad. There's no theme here because, like, what are you gonna do aesthetically with Maroon Five? I want to take it back to their like last album cover. What are you gonna do aesthetically with Maroon Five? Thankfully, the next thing is Travis Scott, so it's not Maroon 5. Fucking counter lucky stars. Anything that's not Maroon 5 in this performance is gonna be at least a solid 5 out of 10 comparatively. Faith is here. He came out like so fucking excited. You could tell in his voice that it's like because he's so stoked to just be out there with his favorite performer, Adam Levine. Although I'm sure he was informed of the death prior. And I bet he's mourning throughout this whole performance, which honestly makes him more powerful. His mode is so sicko, he keeps lapsing into like a dissertation where he's very hour lockdown. We made no moves. Now let's go with you. Anyway, big mood is Adam Levine's lifeless corpse mouthing Jamba Juice kind of incorrectly. The Jamba Juice, yeah. Adam Levine's corpse sort of raises his guitar to the heavens and calls upon Zeus to strike if Travis Scott down. Travis falls. It's really tragic. Um, but they keep going. The show must go on. <laughs> I really just want to take a moment to say rest in peace to Travis Scott. Really fucking sucks that Adam Levine had to do that. The next song is Girls Like You, and goddamn do I hate this one. It is so bad. He squeals in this one, and it's my favorite squeal, though. because he makes this face and you can tell he kind of like knows he fucked up immediately afterward he looks like he regretted what he did which he should it was very upsetting to watch and i'm sure it was upsetting to perform like i imagine the strain on the vocal cords for that pig squeal was like atrocious also imagine how this looks to the audience right now like all, that's all i can think is it's adam levine sort of earnestly 
pleading to a camera, walking in staggered circles, and just looking like a psychopath. And that can't be fun. Going to the Super Bowl seems like hell. You're there for so long and you, what are you getting these days? Justin Timberlake, man of the woods? So many of the women in the audience in She Will Be Loved look like they're from Utah. And I know they have children named Kaylee, Jimmer, and Brayden. When I watched this, I felt good. I felt better. It was kind of like when you go to like a really hard therapy session and you cry a lot and you reveal a lot about yourself and it sort of tears you down. But then afterwards, maybe you go get ice cream and it feels kind of sick because you just released all your emotions and now you have ice cream. That's how I felt when uh, Big Boy came out. It was like a palate cleanser almost. Also, I've been trying to analyze this hand interaction for so long, but I can't figure out what is going on here.